So this was a garden we installed last fall. And originally the gutter would come down, the downspout, and there's a little pop-up drain right here at the bottom of the garden. And as all the water drains into that one downspout, it would come up right here and just sort of kind of flood into the streets, into the sidewalk, and as it did that, pull all the particulates from the cars, fertilizer from the lawn, pesticides and whatnot, go right into our stream. So I suggested to the homeowner that we would change the location of the pop-up instead of at the bottom of the garden, move it up to the top of the garden, right here. And so now what happens when it rains, the water starts to percolate at the very beginning, goes through this little network of swales, flows into the second swale, and all the water in theory will stay on site, giving the plants a chance to take up the pollutants that come with the water, clean it, and also percolate into the ground and recharge the aquifer, requiring less water and less storm water running into the drain. One of my favorite parts of this project is this rain tank, 2,300 gallons, collecting water off the roof right here. And if you notice, it has a small, that small box right there is a filter to help keep leaves and small debris and critters outside of the tank, which helps to maintain the cleanliness of the water. The cleaner the water goes in, the cleaner it'll stay in the tank. To utilize the water in a tank, we also installed this one half horsepower pump. When the irrigation system kicks on in the backyard, the pump will turn on and send water to the valves. If you want to use the water in a tank, without having to send it to irrigation, you can simply turn the handle here on the hose and run a small hose out into the garden. You can hear the pump turning on.